Welcome to Cabin Games. Welcome back to the games of the cabin. The cabin. We're actually shooting water out of cabin right now. Oh. It's a game about a cabin. This is more about cabin games. Can we be cabana cabanas or game? Um, I was trying to make that work. We as could a pun. be the. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Cabana so, Sucre Games. So we're playing through Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, I'm gonna be playing as Mario today while Tim tells us about pants. Um, that's a bit out of context, yes. But we, uh, the paper that we pulled out of Jeffrey... Um, whoa! Did you... Woman. Whoa, 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 hold up. I totally... Hold up. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that. Um, how are you doing that? <laughs> uh, I'm spinning, and then, uh, yeah. That is... I didn't know that's, Mario was such a ballerina. That's that is fabulous. excellent. Can he... Oh, That he is can, quite fabulous he, in all respects of the way. Oh, no. He can't spray in a, in a spinny circle. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna fabulous do this for spray. a little... You just keep telling us about pants, and I'm gonna... Okay, that's definitely what I should have been doing all that last level when oh, I was trying to get up on walls. That's glorious. Oh, man. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to appreciate? I mean, we've taken like, like a minute and a half almost to appreciate this. But wow! Oh, Mario! Oh, Elvis Stoico, oh, eat you your heart out! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, all right, that's enough of that. I'm gonna go break out blooper bloopers. There definitely needs to be a Super Mario ice dancing now. Can we make a Super Mario musical that's primarily dance based, like a West Side Story kind of thing? Can we do like a Super Mario on ice? That would be fun. I'm sure that exists. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, you can. There's a thing you can shoot an M. You'll get a blue coin or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. When hanging, try not to asphyxiate yourself. Okay. Tell us about your thesis, Tim Bale. <clears throat> so yeah, what what this paper says is the universe has pants, and what Tom means by that is my master's thesis, because that's a thing that I did all this year when I would have rather been doing. Well, I'm glad I did a master's thesis, but. It didn't leave me with a lot of time to do, like, internet things. But I guess we're making that up, up for that now by making way too many videos. So, um... So the universe is not pants. Oh. Surprise, surprise. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Um, but the universe may be a bubble. That could be a thing. And your pants could also be a bubble. And then... I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm not, I don't know where I'm going with this, so... <laughs> hmm. So my thesis was about a universe which pretty much has the dimensions of like a computer screen or a TV screen like this. Like I know this looks like it's 3D, but it's actually 2D, right? Like it's just sort of pretending to be 3D. So we, I was looking at universes that only have like two space dimensions. So they're like, you know, you're flat. If you live in them, you would have a hard time having curvy bodies and stuff. It wouldn't be an easy thing. You would pretty much, like, if you were looking at another person, you would pretty much just see a line. That's all you would make out. And it would be either, like, a tall line or a short line. But that would pretty much, you know, you wouldn't have much sense of that. But also, my, like, the universes I was looking at was even weirder because they, they were, like, they weren't just, like, a plane, right? They were, uh, like, they were more like a donut or, like, a, you know those... Those like donut things at water parks where you can seat like four people in them, and it's like it's like a four-handled donut um, or like a two-handled donut. You know what sure. I'm talking about? <laughs> like you can sit like four people can sit inside these things because they're it's like an inner tube. There's like four inner tubes attached together in like uh, one okay. structure, you know? Right. So the universes I was studying were basically like that shape, and then also having time, and I was studying. Well, basically, like, gravity in them and how it works. Okay. Gravity is just how space bends and stretches, so think of, like, that inner tube, but then, like, stretching in a weird way. Oh, uh, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna like this. Awesome. What are you doing? What that is not out. physics! Check, check this out. Guess what I just pulled out of the water. Mm, that is a lot of sludge that no, you no, pulled no. out do, of the water. Do you, see, do you see what the crank is pulling? You pulled sludge. You just watched. Also just an watched. oil tanker? Check it out. Uh, oh, a blue coin. Um, no, dude, look, look at what's in front of me. It's a uh, yellow submarine. Yeah, it is. It's Didn't we all live there that, once? Uh, it's a yellow submarine that apparently doesn't want to be here for long, so I've got to... Mm. I definitely lived in a yellow Red submarine that one time. You. Oh, I made it. A yellow yeah. submarine. Okay, now i got to go on this platform when it's safe, which is not... Can you... How do you clean up all this sludge? There's a lot of sludge in this water. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh, oh no. Okay. All right, it is good. like a BP spill up in here. Yeah, I not fun focus right now. Um, so keep telling us about pants. Okay, so the, the we're studying the universes, and not only are they shaped like. Okay, so the pants thing oh, comes in. Oh, where, like, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 was that as good for me as it was for you? No, probably wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't playing the game. Okay, I'm gonna do my. <laughs> oh, is that actually? Oh, useful? Mario, you're oh, so oh. skillful and fabulous. Man, Mario. Can you climb up that chain? You're definitely at least as bad at this Dude, as I was. I'm no, I'm just having trouble making that jump because the camera angles. I need to get onto the bottom of that platform. Whee! Uh, okay. Yeah, there so we go. this is gonna be a hard thing to visualize, and I kind of wish I had like a blackboard or something. But if you take like like a thing like that that has that's like a donut with a lot of handles, you can always cut it up into things that are basically just one surface with three holes in them and otherwise they're kind of like like a, a sphere or something like it'd be like a sphere with like three holes cut out of it and then you glue those holes together and you get all sorts of crazy shapes which are the universe that we're studying and spheres with three holes in them if you kind of stretch them and weird them out look like pairs of pants and so that's what you actually call it you call it a pants decomposition when you talk about having pairs of pants making a universe and tom thought this was endlessly amusing I mean, pants decomposition, right? Yeah, pants decomposition. And, you, you know, physicists say this sort of thing with a completely straight face. <laughs> and they, they talk about, like, trans there, there's this one um, image of a pair, a pair of pants, a geometrical pair of pants being transformed into a ribbon graph, which is what they tell you it looks like. What it actually looks like is the evolution from pants into a G-string, which is really messed up to look at in a physics paper but maybe that is why I'm not in physics because or why I'm getting out of physics I guess because I cannot appreciate these sorts of things without smirking but yeah so you take your pair of pants universe and you glue it to a bunch of other pairs of pants until you get a closed shape where all the cuffs and belts are glued to other cuffs and belts and there are no holes left in the universe and then you apply general relativity to it and what happens is that the pants universe like basically collapses on itself and does like a big crunch thing and that's kind of fun whoa yeah. what what did you do um i pulled his arm off <laughs> that's he's probably not happy he um, looks like oh this is not what he yeah. wants to be doing uh, right now is losing arms okay i've done this boss battle before i can do it again uh you just have to grab his tentacles and rip them off oh okay right i need to uh not screwed up. That is dark. Yeah. Oh man. Like usually you just sort of hurt people in Mario, but and, like jump on them and maybe give them too much water to drink, but you're actually like ripping his limbs off. Yeah, so he tries to smack you and then uh, his tentacle gets flattened or whatever. Pita is not going to be cool with this. Oh. Ow. That looks like not happy fun times. So yeah, so we were taking, this, this is where it gets really weird. We were not looking at those spaces. We were looking th at the space of all possible spaces that look like that, which is really messed up to visualize and you can't really visualize it. So I spent about two weeks just sitting in my office basically doing nothing and being like, how can I try to visualize a space where every point in the space represents a space itself that is made up of pairs of pants that are glued together? And then I gave up and just decided to study a whole bunch of math text, texts that had been written on the subject in the 70s, and that essentially became my entire uh, research work, was trying to understand math that no one understands, but this guy <laughs> named Wolpert did way back in the day, and I understood it enough to write kind of a paper about it, and it was about how to put quantum wave functions on <laughs> this space of spaces made up of pairs of pants, ow, 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 ow. and you explode! Oh, oh he... That, <laughs> He pulled my nose. Oh, he is oh, not done. Oh, I forgot about this form two, where he's got no nose. He has but evolved I can still pull his tentacle. Oh no! This guy could be a universe, like the shape of him. Yeah. He would. Well, is it because of his tentacles. 
Yeah, like like those. Like I'm just he's, he's kind of I'm just trying he's, to clean your face. Like topologically, he's pretty much just a spear. Although he has no, he has a, a mouth and presumably a place in which to release feces. So um, I guess like topologically, he's a Taurus or something. Um, but when you pull off those limbs, he gets like an extra hole, and then like those limbs could become like baby universes. That's disturbing. Which is kind of cool, because that's actually how some people think the universe came to exist, is that it was like a tendril off another bigger universe. Oh, really? And then it like, it's just sort of like separated the way that you pulled that limb off of him. And then like one theory about how universes come to exist is like sort of an evolutionary thing where like they reproduce like this. Oh my god, I shot him into the sun. What? What? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, wow. he should be happy there because that's gunk and he's gunk and... Yeah. You know? Cool. Okay. Who is dispensing these shines? I don't understand where they come from. There's a sun. Just the sun really likes you, I guess. Yeah. Shine! Okay. Yeah! We're a little over time, so uh, I'm going to save and continue. And uh, next time on Cabin Games, we'll see what happens after we pull faces off.